So what we have seen so far in terms of completeness, we have seen that if I give you a CNF formula and if it is unsatisfiable, then I can derive empty clause from doing resolution. We have other notion of unsatisfiability. Let's connect all of them and write it down in a one single theorem. So what this theorem would look like? If you have a set of formula sigma and uh, it is finite set, and uh, there's a formula f the following statements are equivalent okay so what are they then? you can derive f from sigma if you convert uh, your sigma and f into following form and give this formula into uh, your resolution proof system by converting it into a, into cnf form and then uh, do resolution you will eventually find empty class and the set third thing is the sigma implies f. All these three concepts are equivalent. So how do we know them? This is what we have seen in the case of lecture four, where we saw that the sigma proves f, then we know that sigma implies f. So this is because our proof rules were sound. That connects this to this. We know that if we can produce a resolution proof from sigma prime, then we can construct a derivation in our original proof system. And we have discussed informally at several places, but this can be done, okay? So proof can be generated, that's, that's the point. In the last theorem, okay, we established that if I have a, a f sigma implies f, then I have guaranteed to derive empty clause in the resolution proof system starting from sigma prime. So you complete the circle. Okay? These three ideas are equivalent. But this does not end the story. We need to think about what if sigma is infinite. What do I do then? 